Hi everyone, myself Vaishnavi from grade 9. Myself Sri Star from grade 9. We are here to show a small activity about rational and irrational numbers. Hey dude, what are you struggling for? Whatever, come, let's go and play. No Vaishu, I have to learn this concept today at any cost. It's not getting to my brain. Come on, it's all this time. But though. Fine, what topic is that? Rational and irrational numbers. Sachin Topper is struggling for some small topic. Yeah. Come with me, I'll explain you in an easy way. Truly? Yeah. First, let me explain you about number system. Number system has changed several times, adding some updates to it whenever it changes. Starting from natural numbers. They are 1, 2, 3 and so on. Adding 0 to the natural numbers, we get whole numbers. Combining whole numbers and the negative numbers, we get the integers. Hmm, that seems to be confused. Fine, for your better understanding, here is a flowchart. Now it seems to be a bit clear. Good. Now coming to your topic that is rational and irrational numbers. All numbers which are in the form of A by B where A and B are integers and B is not equals to 0. To say you in a simple way, Q is a set of A by B where A and B belongs to Z and B is not equals to 0. So, can we say that a negative number is a rational number? Of course, yes. And one more thing. The sum, difference, product and quotient of two rational numbers is always a rational number. Hmm. Then what about irrational numbers? Hmm. Square roots and cube roots of all natural numbers are irrational numbers if their values cannot be obtained. You mean square root of 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and so on are irrational numbers? Exactly. And along with that, all the non-terminating decimals comes under irrational numbers. Hmm, what do you mean by non-terminating decimals? Let me say you. But before that, I'll give you something to solve. Okay. Here you go. Oh god, this looks like a non-ending decimal. Exactly. This division never ends. And the quotient of such divisions are called non-terminating decimals. Hmm. Now, are you ready for some activity? Activity? Yes. Here you go with some numbers. And you have to arrange them in an order. Starting with 64. 64. 64 is a rational number, integer, whole number, as well as a natural number. What about this decimal? Hmm, this decimal looks like a non terminating decimal, so of course it is an irrational number. Well done. What about 0? Hmm, 0 can be an integer as well as a whole number. Minus 3. Minus 3 is, of course, an integer. 84. Hmm, 84 can be a whole number, integer, as well as a natural number. What do you say the value of pi? Hmm, pi is an irrational number. Good. Minus 2 by 3? Hmm, minus 2 by 3 is of course a rational number. 107? 107 can be any of the three, integers, whole numbers and natural numbers. 45? Hmm, 45 can be a natural number. What about 99? 99 too can be an integer, whole number and a natural number. Look at this decimal. Hmm, this decimal looks like a non-terminating decimal. So of course it is an irrational number. Root of 49? Hmm, root of 49 is 7. So it is a rational number. Root of 19? 
19 is a prime number and that too it's not a perfect square so it is an irrational number what do you say about minus 1000 minus 1000 minus 1000 is an integer one hmm one can be an integer whole number and a natural number too 114 114 can also be an integer whole number and a natural number minus 4 minus 4 is of course an integer root 25 hmm. root 25 is 5 so of course it is a rational number what do you say about 9.999 hmm it is a terminating decimal so of course it is a rational number what about this decimal 3.27 is of course a rational number 5 5 can be any of the three integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. And minus 5. Hmm. Minus 5 is an integer. Root 50. 50 is, of course, not a perfect square. So, of course, it is a rational number. Minus 2. Minus 2 is an integer. What about 3? 3 can be a whole number, integer, and a natural number too. What about 2? Hmm. 2 can also be an integer, whole number, and a natural number. 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is a rational number, of course. And 4. Hmm. 4 can also be an integer, whole number, and a natural number. Good Ishta, now you know what are rational and irrational numbers, right? Yes, Vaishu. I'm very happy that I've got clear regarding this concept. Thank you for it. You're welcome, Ishta. At least now, will you join us to play? For sure.